Welcome to the ForcePoint Next Generation Firewall. In this video, we show how ForcePoint's multi-layer inspection responds to and defeats a live Trojan. For this test, we're using Smoke Loader, which is also known as Dofoil, a Trojan that downloads and installs other malware onto a target computer. Since our firewall's default settings at various stages automatically detect and block this attack, We'll be disabling each layer of security inspection one by one to see what happens as the Trojan is executed. Our first layer of defense is URL filtering. It blocks access to malicious websites, preventing the Trojan from being downloaded. Let's turn off the URL filtering policy to see if the Trojan can get past our firewall. As we can see from the firewall's log, the malicious Visual Basic script encoder in the Trojan has been detected and the connection to the download site has been terminated. Next, let's examine what would happen if we let the malicious web content pass our deep inspection. With the previous security layers turned off, the Visual Basic script makes it through the firewall and executes inside the browser. There, it pops up several command shell windows. The script also redirects to the website msn.com. Many stager sites contain some sort of redirection in order to mislead users. In this particular case, PowerShell.exe was being run. But, since it is not one of the whitelisted applications we're permitting to access the Internet, the attack gets blocked once again. Let's allow PowerShell.exe you know, to connect to the Internet and download the malware. PowerShell now manages to start downloading the second stage of the attack, but our Deep Inspection catches it as well. Deep Inspection recognizes a binary pattern with the second download that matches known obfuscated shell code, and again, the connection gets terminated before the download finishes. Once more, we'll purposefully turn down our security to allow the shellcode to pass. This time, the anti-malware scanner in the firewall blocks the malicious code and shuts down the connection, preventing it from being fully downloaded. To show the next step, let's allow all files, malicious or non-malicious, to pass through the firewall. You probably will never turn off this much of your security, but it's useful to see that you're still protected even if you do. Here, the second stage of the exploit it tries to establish a connection out to the Internet, this time to a botnet. Because we have whitelisted only a few programs, which now for the sake of the demo include PowerShell.exe, any new programs trying to abuse the system won't be able to connect to the Internet or spread any further. Once again, the endpoint agent stops malicious activities before they can happen. So, what would happen if we turn off the endpoint protection completely? Forcepoint firewalls have anti-botnet defenses built in that detect communications with many botnets and block access to them. Thus, the client is not able to join the botnet. To recap, the Forcepoint Next Generation Firewall has multiple layers of defenses that protect your network, your endpoints, and your users against modern advanced threats. Here, we saw just a few of the various types of inspections and controls that are available in the Forcepoint Firewall, and how each stage of the attack is detected, logged, and stopped. For more information about Forcepoint Network Security products, please visit forcepoint.com slash 
NGFW.